Um, I'm Esther. I'm a doctor at the University of Mycone. Like not a medical doctor, a proper kind of doctor. <laughs> I'm a doctor at the University of Chichester in the UK, that's down on the south coast. And my job is I teach game studies. And it's an awesome job, I love it. And over the summer and over this, this year, I've been writing a book about online communities. And I've kind of discovered a whole load of really cool stuff. And one of the things that I've discovered is like, we as gamers, we don't have heroes. We don't have celebrities. Like we've got people like Lara Croft and we've got those kind of figures we see in games, but they're not real. And we're really picky. So when we make heroes, we kind of choose them from our own. Like we choose people who are like one of us. And I think, the Yogscast is such a good example of that, and I like, had the pleasure to interview them, and I've spoken to them, and there was one time I got really drunk, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, <coughs> much more. Yes, Simon's laughing. <laughs> it was on the tail end of it. I, 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 I won't leave that down. Maybe it was almost as bad as when I shouted at Notch yesterday, but it was all, all very embarrassing. Anyway, um, but we're picky. Like, we're picky about the people that we choose, and I think... The Oxcaster are a really, really good example. <laughs> That's such a weird one. It's the flying pig one, Lois. Why did you put that in? Um, I like that. I look amazing. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys, oh, you can hear them. They're funny. They're charming. They're English. One of them's kind of cute. Hey. <laughs> It says, on my notes, it says, probably don't say this. Uh -oh. um, but if you could welcome again from Reading, which is to the left of London, Simon Lane and Lewis Brindley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you the questions that you've completely forgotten. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So I'm going to start at the kind of beginning. So how did you guys actually meet each other? Oh, goodness. It was a long time ago, but it was online. It was in World of Warcraft. So we were in the same World of Warcraft guild. And I originally thought Simon, because his character was called Honeydew, and he played a female paladin. I originally thought he was a girl. Okay. And I had, I thought, you know, I thought I could, like, ingratiate myself with her and get her to, to help me out with some stuff. And I got her to do my enchanting and things like this. And when I found out it was actually not a girl, I was I was slightly crushed. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it kind of worked out in our favour, didn't it? Because Simon, you're naturally an amazingly funny and interesting guy, and you know we ended up doing the Yogs cast together with World of Warcraft to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why did you decide to do that? Like, why did you decide to start podcasting? Simon. You know? Yeah, Simon's told me an answer to this, which uh, you may or may not remember. <laughs> oh, God. Um, why did we do it? Well, I think Lewis, Lewis found some of the things I said funny, and he wanted to make videos of our weird conversations. And so we did, like, World of Warcraft boss guides, but the, the whole concept behind the guides were that they were really, really unhelpful guides mm. that didn't tell you anything about the boss fights. And it was just me talking about weird foodstuffs. Um, just, yeah, pre-recorded conversations pretty much, wasn't it? So we're in the world here, you guys can probably see, we're on the beach on our server, um, where it all started. Um, isn't it lovely? Made Just behind by you is where man. the first house is and the portal is. They're just kind of behind up on the hillside up there. Um, so does anybody not know what Minecraft is? Yeah, okay, we don't have that question anymore, Lewis. Okay. okay. <laughs> Lewis is like, we need to explain to everybody what Minecraft is. So what we need to do is we need to go and make a house, which is what we're just about to go off and do now. But whose idea was it to actually do Minecraft? Because you've been really successful with the World of Warcraft videos. But like, what, what made you think Minecraft? Simon, it was you, wasn't it? Um... It was all me. It was all me. Um... I, I discovered Minecraft through the Something Awful forums and it was my a sort of escape from Lewis <laughs> and from World of Warcraft raiding and everything. I would just hide away in my own little world and just just get lost and explore and and then 
I, I felt like I had to share this with Lewis one day. And um, the rest is history, I think, really. <laughs> yeah. It's... It, I th we started making videos on the basically the very day that survival multiplayer was available because you know pr before that you could only do creative multiplayer and it didn't have all the kind of the fun elements the day night cycle the mobs this kind of stuff um, and when that was added it really kind of became something a bit better um, I know that. yeah they're complaining you're using a pickaxe oh it's me using the pickaxe in the tree yeah sorry yeah oh, come on <laughs> Yeah, never mind. I was nervous. I was like, or starstruck, because I was in the server. So, so, what made you actually decide to do a story? Because the awesome things about the Minecraft videos is like they're a story. They're not necessarily like just a how-to. So, why did you decide to do that? Um, well, it's the great thing about being making videos on YouTube is that you can gauge the community's response before you make the next video. You know, we. Unlike someone who's commissioned for a whole series of things, we're kind of able to change and adjust and muck around to our heart's content because, you know, we produce a video every day based on how well yesterday's one did. Um, so, you know, when we started doing Minecraft videos, like everyone else had done before, we realised that it was going to have a sort of an end in sight. But then we kind of realised that there didn't have to be an end in sight because we've got a huge amount of friends and people who are really creative and cool and wanted to play with us and we could just go crazy and do whatever the hell we wanted to do um, which is what we did it's taking shape nicely this house Simon I mean normally in Minecraft what you, what you do if you if you're like making a series of videos of how you're playing Minecraft they all seem to go a very similar way like you survive that first couple of nights and you build your little house and then you collect loads of materials and then you build a bigger house and then you get even more materials, and then you make like a castle <laughs> with some towers, and it's it's it all ends up being very sort of similar. So, so we had to make sure that our series was different, that it, it stood out, and so we had a sort of narrative build up from it that started off quite naturally, just from this um this weird character appearing and bothering us. Mm. He's taken his hat off, so I can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> So you made like the first series and that kind of ran over Christmas and you're doing one every day and you said in the original interview you didn't like tea time, UK time, so everyone had to have something to watch at tea time, which I think is really sweet. Um, but what made you realise it was becoming really big? I mean, there's like 400 people sitting in here at least, you know, like what made you, th and it's the first panel in the morning, you know, there must be some epic hangovers out there. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, you know, what made you realise, what was the sort of point where you thought, wow, like people are really, really watching this. Oh, I think it was probably the first time like we hit the front page of YouTube and it was kind of like on either Christmas Day or Boxing Day. And I thought, how is our, you know, little Minecraft series like at number one most viewed in the UK on Christmas Day? You know, that, that to me was a bit weird. But that's the first time we sort of realised just how how popular it was. It's such a great game for us though as well because, you know, we can this is the exact kind of thing where we can be creative and we can muck around and we don't have to be professional either we don't have to be pro gamers I mean that's a common thing with people who make videos on the internet that the people who are successful the people who are very very good they're at the top of their game you know and people want to watch them because they are exceptional but we're completely the opposite aren't we um, with, with Call of Duty and the, you know Starcraft 2 those those big games if you're making videos about them, you have to be very, very good at those mm. games to show off your skills and to, and to do amazing stuff in it. And but I'm with Minecraft, gonna... you don't have to I be good. Here, this is a really good example of you not being very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I now try and run towards Simon to grief him. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Lewis is like, obviously you can see he's godded himself to save himself. <laughs> so we kind of wonder what to do now, and I've like run off and died, and I can't TP on the server. Um, so we go outside and uh, we're like, okay, now what? Um, and then you're going to then see what's happened. Bear in mind, this is the recording server, okay? So this is the server where all of the films are made. 
Um, and it's the one that, like, we have to be really careful that we don't burn everything to the ground. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's happened several times. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the guy at the front said he was just about to say, yeah, make sure you don't burn the house down. It was kind of me first as well. His little duck joined in there. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Good next question. How much is planned in advance? on the games. <laughs> oh god. Oh <laughs> Sorry. The, we didn't quite <laughs> stop the fire, obviously. Um. So Lewis says, this is the recording server, Simon. What should we do? So we run away. <laughs> Just leave it. I mean... <laughs> oh dear. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> How much is planned in advance on the episodes that you do? Well, it depends what we're doing. I mean, most of the mod and custom map stuff we do is pretty much just as it is. You know, we we are, we record it as we do it, or we record it after the fact, in the case of a mod spotlight. But Shadow of Israel has kind of evolved into this kind of epic drama series. And... <laughs> I think it it's up planned, there with Game of Thrones by... now, isn't it? The HBO series. It's up there. It's on a similar It's foot. about a million dollars an episode. <laughs> yeah. It's quite yeah. extensively organised. No, it's 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 planned, but not really by us, you know, because we, we, I like to have that detachment from it because that way our reactions are much more natural and it, it makes it so much better um, if, if we don't know what's going to happen next. And so, yeah... I, it all, is all planned, but not by us. <laughs> um, so many... And we tend to go off script and things, and I get angry whispers saying, stop going that way, kind of thing. Mm. And you shouldn't be there, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So how many people actually help yeah. you out on the server? Because obviously you've got some amazing stuff, which we're going to see in a minute, um, that's been built. Like, So how many people are there doing it, and what do they do? Um, well, there's... Most of most of the stuff is built, I think, by a guy called Lalna, who's a uh, the guy who did the art on our channel. But also, it's it's a lot of it's done by the members of our community. So people do send us in um, schematics of things they've made, and you know, I say if it's good, then you know, I, I forward it on. And sometimes it gets, you know, we we come across it. Sometimes we don't. Um, it's it it's a lot of people actually. It's a lot of people involved at uh, every sort of stage, um, from playing the characters to to building stuff. And it's certainly no mean feat, which is why the the production has slowed down so dramatically. Because whereas you know if we were just playing an adventure map, we could do one a day very easily. But you know when it's got all of this organisation to be involved with and people to to play the roles and to to do it and to do all the stuff, and especially with extra stuff like doing the cutscenes and things as well and animations this all sort of adds to it and it's become a bit of a an epic um it's nearly a hundred episodes for the three series of uh, israfel now oh my goodness Which, and it's nearly a thousand videos that you've downloaded as well it's really amazing it was really when we started off you know the shadow of israfel really that that was that was when it sort of changed pace dramatically from something that was kind of more um more, more, more kind of just natural to something that was a bit more kind of scripted. Um, I mean, Simon and my reactions are completely unscripted though, and and we always say that we don't write anything down. And I think that people do, you know, understand that, and that shows through. Mm. Um, I mean, with the with the series, you you obviously have like a story going through it, a bit like a it's like a a D and D dungeon master behind the scenes comes up with like this story and. We have like a group of people who create the setting and build the the buildings and the, and the weird monstrosities and things that we come across, and and then we have people who play the characters, the the NPCs, inverted commas, and and of course then there's ourselves playing playing ourselves as the characters. So that, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of work that goes into them, and we, well, I, I in particular, don't do very much with the series. I'm, I'm like the star of it, but, but really, like my my input into it is so limited compared to the massive amount of work that goes into it. Yeah, this whole yeah. group of people. Have you got a favourite episode? Ooh. Um, 
I think my favourite was when we we do well. My favourite is when we do stuff that that you don't do normally in video games. So, the, the Minecraft is so different to everything out there. You know, it's such an amazingly creative game. So, for example, one of the quests we did was when we had to repair the wall, mm-hmm. and that was such an unusual quest objective compared to what we were used to in terms of stuff like you know go out and collect five bear asses, go out and collect <laughs> ten whatever instead you know we had to you know with 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 the, the kind of more nebulous quest objectives there becomes a lot of a lot of fun mm. like being under um, siege and, and having to rebuild things in order to stop you know this force from breaking through that was amazing yeah uh, or like taking cover when it was pour, suddenly pouring with rain and we just got like a- attacked by skeletons in that weird tomb place that we didn't we weren't supposed to be at you know um, which was kind of awesome. <laughs> Just I'm stuck. Uh, <laughs> They're laughing at you using the ladder to try and break the rock. Yeah, I That's need Simon's good. pick. Um, <laughs> Juice the rest. Oh dear. <laughs> help me I mean, here. I know that with this, we spent quite a lot of time kind of recording this and doing bits and pieces. But are there, is there any stuff that didn't make the final cut that? you really kind of either wish had or you had to redo again or you know that was kind of cool oh oh dear there was a bit in which we um the 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 killing of the confrontation and the killing of jock that was that was a moment that had to be redone because i I got Mm. so carried away and i left lewis behind and i like chased after him and I, i was like sniping him with arrows and it was magnificent but I basically like completely owned him, but but there was no footage of it because I just left Lewis behind and I wasn't <laughs> recording it. It was terrible. It's absolutely terrible that that moment is you know couldn't be shared with the world. Me actually being good at a computer game. Yeah. There was actually <laughs> you just, it would have been proof. Just you had a bow and arrow and you just like three shot him with amazing it ninja was accuracy. It was amazing. And, oh, <laughs> And there was another time. Oh, there's all sorts of times when we've. Can I get through this, please? Um, there was another time when, flipping X. This, this, these aren't well, the most brilliantly designed things, are they? These. <laughs> um, sorry. There was another time when we were. I think when we were in the submarine and we went down the ladder and oh, no. um, lava was, was. Well, lava came down after us, right? But the first time we did that. Um, we we sort of we looked around and we sort of started climbing back up towards um, Jock to kill him, and Jock accidentally threw down two buckets of lava instead of plonking the lava on the surface, and then the lava got stuck on the ladder so it wouldn't float down. <laughs> it was it was just like a catalogue of errors that time, and I was just like being bombarded on Steam to like just bear with them while they would and then a creep I think exploded at the top oh it was just a disaster and half the submarine got blown out by like accident so stuff like that happens all the time oh yeah that's a spoilers oh there's some spoilers <laughs> don't look don't look it's the other way <laughs> quick um, <laughs> I was to a point where Lewis said we should probably start going over here instead and, uh, and looking at so what's been Actually, I'm going to ask you again, because you, you told me when I first interviewed you that you told me a story about Granny Bacon's funeral, oh. about how you recorded Granny Bacon's funeral. Can you remember the story about the cornfield? Oh. Oh, yeah. Simon, do you know, do you know this? What, running towards Granny Bacon, or what, what was this? Yeah. yeah, about how you had to do it in the end, because it wasn't quite working. Oh my god. It was... It, was it... Oh, I can't quite remember it, Lewis. I can't quite remember it. There was... The thing is, we had to record this sort of weird, like... We'd, we'd done the videos, okay? And I thought it would be amazing if we just had, like, a scene where it kind of went all blurry and, like, you know, 80s. And you and Granny Bacon just ran at each other in a cornfield. <laughs> like that, yeah. Exactly. With yeah. that music, okay? And what actually happened was... It was a real challenge to actually get it to work because people in Minecraft run pretty fast. <laughs> so, and also, the whole jumping together just never seemed to work because people had to jump at exactly the same time. <laughs> and 
So we like made a cornfield, and the pro- also the problem was that it, every time we did a take, all the corn got destroyed. So we had to like regrow the corn in the cornfield because as people ran through it, there was just corn going everywhere. And I think what we ended up doing was we actually dug a mm. hole, didn't we, in the middle of the cornfield? And both people, when they got to the edge of the hole, they had to jump um, towards each other. And it took about fifteen <laughs> takes until we got the end one. We were just in this cornfield for about an hour just screwing around, jumping in a hole. And I wish I kept all of the outtakes from that because they, it was so ridiculous. Um, the amount of people to just... just oh, the amount of times you jumped in that hole with Granny Bacon. <laughs> it was lovely. Oh. It was a beautiful moment. Rolling around in the hay with Granny Bacon. Oh, it took me back. So this is the area where we did the live stream from. It's actually in the server. It's down, down the wall some distance. And it's... Um, it's where we did the, the Child's Play charity thing. This was all built by a guy named Bobby from America who did this whole thing. And he sort of put the story together, I think, as well. There's still, there's still a few monsters in there, as you can see. Um, yeah, oh my god. This, 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 the server is amazing. I really want to release it, actually. I, what I really want to do is kind of make a, like an adventure map of it. So I need to actually go ahead and like put a load of signs and guide people around it on an actual adventure. And I want to have like kind of nebulous tasks. So like rebuild the yog cave, you know, and there'll, there'll be a big hole in the wall and you have to rebuild that. And various bits and bobs such as that. And then you can rebuild it, you know, how you want to. So I think an adventure map, you know, where it's kind of adventure st- stroke creative, you know, with a bit of both in would actually be a really cool thing to do with the It'd server. Be a massive so download, what I do. <laughs> It'd be a massive download. It'd be a massive download. Well, <laughs> it should be okay. So, I'm going to kind of move you on. So, what is the best thing that's happened as a result of the show? Like, what's the best thing that's happened? And just to... <laughs> okay. they, they, they let me. They, they like... A, oh, never mind. Uh, so <laughs> just send the S3. Run in. So I do. I'll kite it. Lies. That's fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> Why are we venturing in here anyway? So what's the best thing that's yeah, happened as a result of the show? I mean, you've just come back from GamesCon where you got mobbed by fans. Which is oh, pretty goodness. Awesome. oh goodness, that was that was crazy. It was crazy. Being on stage with Daniel from Mo Yang, throwing out Steve heads into the crowd. Uh, uh, people like pulling on my trouser leg, trying to get my attention, so I would give them a Steve head, and. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Steve had madness. I think the best thing is, is that we've been able to actually, you know, make a living out of it, you know, and do it full time. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get kind of media jobs. I'd love to do, I'd love to be able to like get a regular shot on a radio show um, and stuff like that. But also, you know, it get, lets us do this full time and actually kind of pay some of the people who contribute as well, you know. Oops. Um, <laughs> Not the greatest of players. No more. <laughs> You're letting the side oh. down. Yeah, don't worry. Um. So I've got a, I've got a couple of sneaky ones. So what? So Simon, oh. what do you reckon? What do you reckon? <laughs> it's okay, so it's a sensible question. Uh, what's going to happen next? What do you reckon is going to happen next in Shadow of Israfel? You have to right-click on the boat, Esther. <laughs> um. <laughs> I've gone even pinker than I am already. It works. <laughs> <laughs> um, what what next in Shadow of Israfel? Well, we we're going to the dwarf place, the home of the dwarves, the dwarven land. So I know there's that upcoming. Um, yeah, it's, it's I don't know much about it, but you know we've obviously got a couple of dwarves in the series already, Simon and um, the Spacker, the zombie dwarf. So I'd like to know a bit more about what happened to him or you know where his story is because he was supposed to be with um Verigan and his old crew of people back in time wasn't mm. he um so that's I want to cool. find out what happened to I Daisy th- Lewis what happened to Daisy nobody we've heard nothing about her well we discussed old peculiar is not around isn't it though he he's obviously that's his that's his kind of story so maybe we'll so catch I think up I th- with old peculiar and there's definitely going to be some 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 sort of conclusion to that story, I'm sure. And also, I mean, I've heard a few things like you know, I mean, the map fragments are pretty much done now. So I reckon we're going to have to go into the desert and confront 
whatever's causing trouble Ooh. there. The source of the and spreading sand. Ooh. Yeah, it's just being reawakened. And then obviously the, the, the big evil man himself. This is the old barbecue bay here. Unfortunately, there's not much left, as you can see. I think it burnt down, um, Lewis. Yeah, I don't know how no. it <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of a wreck, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So all of this stuff, mostly built by community members as well, like that ship and stuff was done by um, some guy on SA uh, on the forums. I don't know. I'm just t I'm just tweaking all these these options here. Where are we? Oh god, there was a terrific outtake with Simon where he got bugged with like an extra pair of legs, um, and. They were like, oh, it was, it was, it's going to be in the outtakes in the future, I think. Um, Is this when I was in a boat or something? <laughs> a little bit difficult to hear. Yeah. Because you're mumbling a little bit. Oh, sorry. Stop sorry. mumbling, Lewis. Speak up! <laughs> <laughs> so, what, you're doing other reviews as well, and Hannah's doing stuff as well. Um, I heard her earlier. Um... So what sort of stuff are you actually reviewing in the future? What kind of games are you going for? Oh, Diablo 3 Beta is going to be soon. Soon. Like in the next four weeks. Soon. So that will be amazing to have a look at that. <laughs> They're laughing at your legs. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time, would it? People laughing <laughs> at my legs, pointing. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Like the last turkey left in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Diablo. <laughs> and so, what are you reviewing in the next couple of weeks? Um, well, I've still got some Deus Ex videos to to do. <laughs> um, I want to see just what crazy things I can actually do in the game. Um, mm. Lewis is playing through Bastion. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, at the same time, we're going to carry on doing sort of quite a bit of Minecraft Minecraft content. Sorry, I'm mumbling again. I'm I'm tr I'm sort of I'm trying to think about improving the yog box further. You know, Minecraft patch 1.8. <gasps> it's creeping closer, <gasps> and you know, adventure mode, Enderman, Nots is changing the sort of the map generation as well oh, quite God. dramatically. So the maps are going to look better, the biomes are going to look better. Gonna this this is game. basically it's going to be the biggest patch in about yeah. a year because. Frankly, we haven't really had a good Minecraft patch since since last October when the Nether was all added in. I mean, the stuff that's been added since then, you know, it's tweaks and things, but it's relatively trivial. So this is going to be a huge, huge game-changing mm. patch, and it's it's sort of if it to me it feels like it's kind of pushing, getting ready for release. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll, it'll kind of it will hopefully feel like. It's, have any, it's, guys, sorry, have any of you guys played it yet? Yeah. No, have you had a go on the it's, stand? Go up to the Mojang booth and, and have a look. It's pretty awesome. There's some really cool stuff up there. And they're giving out creeper heads as well. So get your God, hell no. t shirt or a creeper head. I don't know which one I choose. Mm? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know which one I. Creeper socks. I don't know. Minecraft chick was wearing some yesterday, but I haven't, I haven't seen any given out. I'd be there if they were. So. Okay, so just kind of getting to the end of the video, I think there's like five minutes left. We've got some kind of little bit of extra stuff on the end of it, and then I'm going to move on to questions from you guys. You're doing really, really awesome as well. Well done. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, the, the, the map's all pretty close together. It's quite surprising, actually. Like, Terra Vale is just around the corner from, like, here. Um, and the Yog Cave is just around the corner from Barbecue Bay. I mean, it, it, it's actually surprisingly all closer than you think. Um, a lot of the stuff. And, ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's a big video. <laughs> I think you made us turn around again. We, no, we didn't go and learn to play. So. Um, you've got a lot of... Well, you do a lot of custom maps as well. What's... Whoa! <clears throat> what's your... What's, what's been your favourite custom map to do so far? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Tree of know. Life. I I loved that. Tree of Life was amazing. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. That was a really really cool put together m map uh, with lots of things that I've never seen before in Minecraft. And I mean, 
Oh, it was good. Like the the whole like upside down sort of town thing. <laughs> no one's everyone's watching Night Peculiar now. Yeah, yeah, we were just <laughs> distracted by it. Oh. So, what what I want to explain here is that despite the fact that we're recording this and Lewis has already said that it hasn't got sounds, Simon automatically starts doing the voices. So he's automatically doing like the talking for Night Peculiar. Oh, God. So, and they're actually just having a bit of a chat right now as well that you kind of can't see for a bit. <clears throat> I think you probably should. Do you want to do the voices? <laughs> I don't know if you can, if you're at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> oh dear. How's Night Peculiar sound? Greetings, heroes! How are you doing? There are adventures to be done! A bit like that. Oh. Yeah, I forget the voices. I forget the voices. It's terrible. I am awful. I would never make it as an actor because I just completely forget the voice. <laughs> the only one I remember is Griswold, and I was stuck. <laughs> I could do no other voice but Griswold for about two weeks. It just got stuck in my head. <laughs> it was awful. It was particularly embarrassing when we were like in a <laughs> restaurant and you were ordering what you wanted. <gasps> oh dear. Yeah. Yes. In style yeah. of Professor Gridwald. Hello! I would like a burger, please! <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> That's what actually happened. I lost my own voice. I forgot how I talked. It was that bad. <laughs> now, this was actually in one of the episodes, but the guys just ran straight past it. So we thought we'd kind of head off back to it. I mean, you can see it like really quickly. It's night time when you see it. <laughs> there is slightly baffled there. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, adventure mode's coming out. We've got the new patch coming up. But and I asked you, I asked you this before, and you've kind of done it in a couple of interviews before that I've heard. But if there was one thing that you could remove from Minecraft. What would it be? Oh, oh God. Dear. I think you said redstone when you were asked that question, <laughs> Simon. I just you? don't get redstone. I don't get it. It's it's so confusing. And when I see the things that people have built using redstone, I mean, first of all, I see like some, some machinery working, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I would love to make that. That's incredible. And then they, they show like all of the behind-the-scenes redstone circuitry. And it's like the equivalent of 14 football stadiums behind, like, a door. <laughs> just to get a door working. And that just... Ah! Uh, it drives me mad. It drives me mad. I'm, there's no way I'm going to, like, spend a lot of time learning how to use redstone and working on it. It's, it just seems too much work for me. It just it blows my mind. I can't get my head round it. And, Lewis, I know you've had a bit of a problem with um, musical notes in the past. Oh, yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we've had a few traumas with them. Like, Mr. Astley's house was originally, like, supposed to play Rick Astley when you went in. Um, like, as a trigger on the door. So, to open the door. <laughs> like that. Yeah, but we, that's why there was, like, a basement under it, apparently. But it never it never actually was to work. We could never get it working properly. Also, um, there was never supposed to be a creeper in there. There was never supposed to be. Mr. No. Astley wasn't a creeper. <laughs> but it, it <laughs> turns out that the, the basement of the place where all the blocks were going to be put, the note blocks and stuff, it didn't have any torches in there. So a creeper just naturally spawned there. And as we walked past and looked at the sign, lo and behold, a creeper face just appears. And, and that day, a legend was born. <laughs> That's so Minecraft as well, exactly when you don't want them, then there they are. So, okay, like this is kind of the last minute or so, so people who've got questions start thinking about them right now. People will remember this little little house here from the, the cutscene where we, we, Isabel Peculiar sort of told like a story about what happened to her parents. And so this is, this is old Peculiar's old, old family home. Um... And he's brought us here to search for something. So yeah, this is a bit kind of. I'm not sure. Is this canon, Simon? I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. The old, yeah, that's the old ladder problem there. If you 
still in the game, that bug with the ladders, but that's fine. It's not quite nice here. It's got nice plants inside. It's a nice cottage by the sea. So, okay, so, so, so. This is like the last kind of minute or so. So I'm going to ask people who've got questions if they want to, we're going to come around with mics, I think. Is that right? Oh, yeah? Yes. Sweet. Is this, is this a bit like Jeremy Kyle or something? Yeah. I don't think they have that in America. That's a lost reference. I've all seen oh. blank faces there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Esther got it. Esther got it. That's the important thing. <laughs> okay, one person in the audience kind of got it. But <laughs> okay, so if you want to ask questions, do you want to come up? 